Taurus, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Welcome and first of all, thank you so much and Happy New Year to you Taurus because you've really helped to change my life. You have contributed to this channel and I'm so grateful for everything that you've done to help me grow over the past year. Thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. I'm going to start over here like I always do with a full oracle card reading and then there is always an extended link in the description box so that you can get a full tarot card spread that extends this reading and sometimes changes it completely as well as your romance reading for the next seven days Taurus this is your energy for the next seven days Taurus Sun Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising or wherever Taurus influences your natal chart for the next seven days you can apply these energies but Taurus please if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. Not everything will resonate. Not everything wants to, not everything fits your life, right? Crowning your energy. Let's see what this energy is. Wow, crowning your energy. You're afraid to leap. It's not that you don't have the opportunity. You don't have the chance. There is a sense of, there is a sense of, not wanting to take that chance, not wanting to not wanting to leap. Um, interesting energy. It's sort of on its end. Take the leap of faith, but you don't want to. See, it came out completely backwards. I would say this could be like misfortune or being stuck, but it came out on its side. So this is almost like just being hesitant, pausing, not wanting to take a leap of faith, not being certain. Perhaps um, you're not certain of yourself, or you're not circum of the certain certain of the circumstances. But Taurus, I think this has a lot to, to do with your your you don't have enough information, or um, you're not certain that it's actually a leap that you want to take. You know that this could give you a great deal of abundance and fortune. Um, but it's not necessarily something that could give you a great deal of happiness. And it's a little bit of a divided. And I think that who else had the divided energy? Libra. Libra had a very divided energy, a divided choice. And you're both, uh, you're both Venus ruled. So there could be something going on with Venus where she is kind of torn between two lovers, torn between two choices, um, in a decision, uh, torn between two different, uh, deciding between two different things. Neither of them, maybe that looks good enough or just torn between, um, I know Libra was torn between they're wanting to be with somebody and maybe actually have already found somebody, but also wanting to maintain their independence and their sense of self and being afraid that um, they get lost and they lose themselves when they're with somebody. And, and so for you, though, I think it's just you, you're, you're torn between your attraction to abundance, your attraction to living a, a nice lifestyle, you know, with nice things versus is what you're doing making you happy you see clearly now so there's something that's become very ab abundantly clear to you um this is an energy of maybe stopping not taking an opportunity because you you just realized that something wasn't right about it this is aquarian energy it's higher wisdom it's higher knowledge it's a deeper understanding a more intellectual look into something so this could be you calling in an advisor to help you scrutinize a circumstance that doesn't make much sense you could have lost money recently and you don't know how you lost it you don't know where it went this is sort of a big old mystery and now you're investigating into um where it could have gone that could be you doing sort of almost um what do they call it um when the irs comes by an audit <laughs> a personal audit of yourself and how much you spend but this could also be just sort of sort of doing a forensic audit into uh, trying to understand well where did that morning money go because there's supposed to be more money there than is showing up so um essentially this is making a decision um, to get more information because this is deep inquiry though. Like this is whiz, uh, four plus three is seven. So something that is setting you up for creation, something that you've been working on, but something that hasn't all necessarily been working out right. This is, I see clearly now, you, you, like it's something has dawned on you. Something has dawned on you. So it's almost like, 
if you have been lacking funds, it's like suddenly you realize what's going on and what's been happening. This is really Aquarius energy. Insight. Insight and the wonderful thing about owl is they see in the dark. This is also somebody having spotted or this is somebody that could that could have spotted your fortune and been taking it from you. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see what else comes out, Taurus. Um, okay, yeah. The cards were upside down. Think on your feet. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to duck and weave, man. This is a sense of... Um, but, they, but they did come out upside down. Hmm. No, this is duck and weave, man. This is, this is, this is, you're going to have to improvise and it could be because you're trying to escape something or run away from something because it's caught you, it's caught you in its sight and you're not ready for it. You don't want it or you don't want the attention. That's what this is a sense of, tend to the small things. This has been building for a while. What is this that has been building for a while, Taurus, that you have been trying to like keep behind the walls and yet the more you try to keep it back, the bigger and bigger it grows. Just like what I always say, where there's one mouse, there's 400 in the walls and this is the energy you're fighting against or that's it's, it's bringing you down this week. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom. This is also, what is this? Look at seeing in the dark, seeing by moonlight. Howling at the moon. This is almost the moon card, the moon energy. Something is hidden. Something is kept secret. But you can turn that wisdom. You can turn that knowledge. You can turn what you've learned into something that works for you, into understanding something more deeply. Interesting. Ooh. This is a real spirit quest week for you, Taurus. I think you had a really good love reading, too. I'm going to attach the romantic tarot right above. This, this is something that may have been intentionally somebody has been trying to keep hidden. And you're going to literally have to, or something that you want to keep hidden. Balanced. Embrace the in-between. This is Libra energy. This is also romantic energy. This is something maybe that you've been wanting to keep on the DL. Not wanting to put a name on. Or you've been trying to hide from somebody. You've been trying to keep things neutral. Why have you been trying to keep things neutral, though? It's almost like you've been trying to not be spotted. You've been trying to hide. Or somebody has been trying to hide from you, and you're not really sure why. Um, there is always enough. So this is emotional stability and happiness. Love is all around. This is definitely romances in the air. It's somebody singing your praises. You hearing the call or them putting the call out to you. This is almost like a wolf hunt. That's what I feel like it is. And be playful. You are trying... Either you or them, you could reverse this energy, but this is definitely the energy, Taurus, of somebody trying to keep it light while the other person is in hot pursuit. It's like you're, you're trying to like duck and weave very advanced and intense, um, very advanced and intense um, pursuit. There's a hunt, there's hunting going on. I feel like there's a hunt. Somebody doesn't want to be caught. Here's an energy. Do you see? Uh, when I turn the cards around, I'll point it out to you. But there's owl here. An owl eats grasshopper and the and mouse. So this is that knowledge and wisdom that can pick out those little things and that you can't hide from. But then also there's this energy of fox and wolf, which are both hunters, but they're also both things that get hunted, especially fox. So it's almost like something is hunting you, something is after you, something is chasing you that you do not want, that you are trying to escape and avoid. And it's because you're happy with the way things are now. You're happy with not putting any kind of name on this circumstance or situation. You're happy not taking a deeper, making a deeper commitment. So you're trying to keep it light or this reverse energy is trying to keep it light overcome any obstacle 
By being playful, you can overcome any obstacle and keep your abundance. So that's what you're trying to do. You're almost trying to like, you're almost trying to like make a deal with the devil almost. Like, like literally trying to outrun the devil. That's why, that's, that's what I feel. This is the energy of this week. 10, 10 divine counterparts. Ooh, you may not want to admit that some, that there's a divine counterpart that's just come in your life and they may have thrown a chink in your chain in your normalcy. There's like, you don't want to admit that this connection is real because it will mess up the life that you've established right now. Ooh, let me show you the cards. Hold on. Hold on. Do you see what I'm saying? This card, which is actually one of the most fortuitous of the deck, came out cockeyed. So this is not, not ready to accept something that could be actually very beautiful, but it's almost like, no, refusing, not ready to leap, not ready to take the leap, not because it isn't a good thing, but because you're just not emotionally ready. That is the sense of just wanting to stay still. And maybe the reason why you want to stay still is because you know, there's a whole hell of a lot of hunters lined up. You're trying to hide out, but it's like, you know, somebody is in hot pursuit of you. Somebody sees what you've been trying to hide. And this probably has something to do with the abundance of emotion and love that you've been feeling and or that the other person has been feeling and trying to keep under wraps, trying to be like, oh, no, nothing special here. Mm -mm. No, see, you think your grounding energy that what is making you feel stable. And this is definitely your energy, Taurus, coming through, being very honest, very sincere, a bull in a china shop you think that you can overcome any obstacle just by being um just by being playful and and a little bit clumsy and awkward and bringing happiness and sweetness and joy to people you think that that's going to smooth out all of this sort of dark bridled undercover i don't know it's not i'll tell you that right now this is energy that does not just go away and this is this is hunters in hot pursuit of their prey and their prey is definitely something that is trying to hide from them and act like you're just like act act and react action reaction trying to stay away or one step ahead of but somebody already sees you like it's already been spotted emotionally. This is already known emotionally. What you're feeling has already been received or perceived, or this is reverse up. Uh, this is reverse. Um, this is the, like, yeah, like, like this is reverse and it's them. Like you, you already know what they, that you already know what the feelings of this, these people or this person is. It's, it's already abundantly clear. It's already like in some ways they've already told you or given you all the signs. It's, it's standing there still and impressive and it's gorgeous and it's beautiful. And it's just, it's, but it's, it's also like standing on one leg, not moving anywhere. Being very, trying to be very still, almost like trying to be so still. No, you don't see me here. I'm not here. I'm not here. I'm not here. But they know you're here. They've spotted you. They've, it's almost like, but there is a sense of you're trying to save your life. You're trying to protect yourself by staying in this in-between state and, and pretending like, no, they don't see me. They don't see me. They don't see me. When you know for a fact, they see you. Or this is vice versa. When, when they know for a fact. Oh, wow. I just recognized something. The backing of this moon, this card, this wolf spirit is the same backing and you can see it right here. This little cleft chin that I always see and dream the world into being that is actually the skull. And this is your central energy. So this tells me you're the secret keeper here. You're the one keeping something hidden. I hope I didn't just out you guys. You're the one keeping something hidden. And you're the one trying to keep it hidden by keeping it light and playful and on the surface and by just bulldozering through and proceeding forward and bringing all this sweetness and happiness to people and just, just, just going forward. But, but there's something that you haven't confronted. There's this feeling. I feel like you have this such an abundant life right now, Taurus, and you don't want anything to mess it up. 
but there is something that is almost compromising the very life that you have put together. There is a secret here. There is a secret that you don't want to come out. Maybe you've lost money and you don't want anybody to know. Or you know that somebody's been taking money and it compromises everything that you know about your world and about your life. And you don't want to look at it right now. You don't want to think about it and you don't want to talk about it. Holding them accountable or holding yourself accountable would basically ruin the illusion that you've created that is your life. So grounding you is a sense, this decision to try to get through this week for the next seven days to just tr trudge along like you're being playful, like on the surface so that you don't have to go under deep. This is some deep freaking stuff. Taurus and cross watchers, we're going to get to the bottom. I, we're going to get to the bottom of this with Tarot. <laughs> the extended link is below and we're going to do the love reading over there too. I'll see you guys there.